Yo, what's up? <clears throat> Snake here with Living Rich. Put it back to the usual frame that I'm in. Um, yeah, looks like these. It's just gonna be like this today. Anyways, what's up? Um, today I'd like to talk a little bit about handling situations. Let me, uh, shut my door in case my roommates come home. Um, handling situations that are a little bit difficult and tricky. I can't say I'm the best at this. I mean, I'm the best at, like, really, really rough situations. But I kind of feel like I wear on people sometimes, like, in my personal life. Like, I'm a little bit energetic, and I'm very, very quick to give feedback. And that creates a lot of issues. Um, so, sometimes things come up, like today. Uh, my roommate uh, just expressed his opinion that I was getting on his nerves. And I wasn't quite exactly sure why. And we didn't have a lot of time to talk about it. We were both heading out for work. So, so I sat there, I listened to him, and it was interesting. I mean, things, like, it's really crazy. I like things from your point of view um, can be really offensive from someone else's point of view. And I can, while, while... From my point of view, like, they weren't meant as, you know, to be offensive. Um, maybe a little abrasive, just, like, friendly banter and shit like that. Uh, apparent, he just wasn't in the in the mood to, to receive it, I guess, in a playful mood. And it's my fault being, you know, I, I'm not really that tuned into him. You know, he usually just does his own stuff, and I usually do mine, and, like, I kind of just, like, go about the assumption that, like, he's my brother, and I treat him likewise, and, you know, I just shoot shit at him, not in, like, a, not in, like, a, maybe, like, intending to, to make him, like, very angry on the inside, but, like, maybe intending to, like, push his buttons and, like, make him more playful or whatever. Um, some people it works with, some people it doesn't. Be careful if you do choose to act like that around other people. Um, and know, know there are limits, really, because, you know, they get, could get mad. Um, yeah. So it, it bothered me a little for a little bit at work and I was I was thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it and like thinking of like ways to come back and like, you know, whatever. And then like immediately after well not immediately, just suddenly though. Suddenly I was like there rolling silver and everything kinda like cleared up. You know. Maybe I digested the steak that I ate earlier or some shit like that. But it all started clearing up. To where I wasn't mad at him for being mad at me, per se. And I kind of just like, I was like, okay, you know, and what, like, he's got stuff going on in his life. And, you know, my presence is very, I guess, outspoken is a good way to put it. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to talk with him again tonight. And I'll let you know how it goes from there. <laughs> Maybe I won't, but Whenever these situations come up, I think it's really important to, like, sit back and listen. Because, like, they just want to talk, and they just want to, like, feel important and be known or whatever. I don't know.
was a hard situation. And I was really, really, really mad about it for a little bit. Not really mad, but like it was, like I was at work and I just kept thinking about it and like it almost, like I had to really focus to kind of keep it out of my head. Yeah. But I think what's, what was productive about like having to talk about it and then having to, to have that space away, like I had to reevaluate like everything because it kept just kept coming up and like I was like, I had to like relook at it and relook at it and relook at it. And then I don't know, maybe he'll have to do the same thing too. Um, Yeah, but it was it was really good to do that because I like I felt that warmth again for him, you know, like as a as a buddy and a person. Whereas before it was we were almost gonna like come to blows, you know, believe it or not. <laughs> I think I insulted his music and brought up a comment. <laughs> just fucking with him that um our mutual friend didn't see the gains so I don't know it was it was a weird weird thing um that, that time away it actually also made me consider his point of view a lot um made me like sit there and think about it like what he's going through and shit was his life and I don't know and my favorite part of all this is that I don't have to stay here and keep living with him um you know I'm a free person he's a free person he doesn't want me here anymore you know he was the founding roommate so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stay here like indignantly That'd be fucking silly. Um, likewise, I'm not going to create any animosity about it. But it's just it's just nice to have that freedom to be like, oh yeah, you know, I can leave, no worries. And that that's what's made me feel really good about the situation. You know, the guy's a good guy, but he's yeah, he's a good guy. It's just we're we kind of wear on each other a little bit. Uh, that's my video blog thing for the day. I hope you can glean something from that. I know it was a little bit raw and I'm still a little jarred from everything that's gone on. And yet to resolve totally the situation. Um, but yeah, Thank you for taking the time to listen and watch. Have a good day.